Once you have created your work in InDesign, it's time to export it. Now, as you see, I've worked on a very simple um, page here. So one first page and then it'll spread down there. I can export it in two ways. So I want to export it as single pages. So when you open a PDF, you see one page, two page, and then three page as separate pieces. That is very easy to do. Click File, Export, choose the format you want. I'm going to choose Interactive because I'm sharing online. Choose where you want to save it. This is all good for me and click Save. You then have a range of options here. What you want is the top right page. You've got Export as Pages or Spread. So click Pages, you get that nice individual link. Now I've got some links missing here. So what you have to do is go and relink the images that have moved somewhere else. And we've got a video for that on pre-flight. I'll link that in the description below. But for now, I'm going to just click OK. And same kind of thing about here, transparencies. Don't worry about this. So it's exporting as we go along, um, take a second, and there we are. So here is our pages, one, two, three. Now what about if we want it to be a spread? So we go back to um, InDesign, we'll see here we've got you know, one page there and then these two together. This is not generally a very good idea because you know you don't tend to have massive A3 uh, monitors like this, but hey, let's imagine we want that. You'd go File, Export, Choose the same location, and I'm going to choose uh, spread. And we choose spreads. Now, a good place for this would be if you're doing two A4 pages to make like a magazine center, um, which you can easily view on a single monitor. Okay, so click export, and once again, click OK. We'll generate our PDF, and we'll see this open in a second. So this time, we've got the first page as so. The reason why this image here is very grainy is because we haven't relinked it. Again, the pre-flight video linked in the description below is very important. But when we click down here, we see these two pages together. So that is how to export um, files from InDesign, either into single pages or into spreads. As I said, pages are generally better than spreads, but you know what you're working for, so think about your application.